All right, starting off at number 10, we have a sweet called Rasgula or Rashogula. These are one of the most popular sweets in Bangladesh. It is traditionally eaten after lunch as the people of Bangladesh love to eat sweet dishes after a heavy meal. Sweet and spongy rasgulla is also served to guests and at festivals and special occasions. Its origins are contested. Some believe rasgulla originated in East India while others claim it was Bangladesh. It is made from ball-shaped dumplings of chenna and semolina cooked in a light syrup. The syrup soaks into the dumplings, creating soft, fluffy, syrupy, white-colored sweets that melt in your mouth. They can be eaten hot, cold, or at room temperature. I have personally tried these, and they are delicious. Up at number nine, we have a dish called Panta Bat. Panta bat is a wonderful example of Bangladeshi food, also enjoyed throughout the Bengal region and mostly associated with farmers, laborers, and the working class. It is a hugely popular Bangladeshi dish. Panta bat generally uses leftover rice that is soaked in water overnight to ferment and then served as breakfast the following morning after being seasoned by salt, chili, and onion. Traditional Bangladeshi panta bat is usually served with fish, pickles or onions. Up at number eight, we have Mishti Doi. Mishti Doi is fermented sweet dahi originating from the Bogra district of Bangladesh. It is mainly made with milk and sugar, but it differs from plain yogurt due to the preparation technique. Mishti Doi is prepared by boiling milk until it thickens slightly, sweetening it with sugar, either gura, brown sugar, or kajur gura, date molasses, and allowing the milk to ferment overnight in earthenware pots. The result is a pale yellow yogurt, which is always served on a custom-made earthen plate. Misty doy tastes elegant, yet is comforting and sweet. It has a cream pudding-like texture with a deep, rich flavor of dark caramel and a touch of acidity that makes it refreshing. All right, next on our list, we have a dish called shami kebabs. Shami kebabs are hugely popular in Bangladesh. Whilst there are a wide range of different kebabs available in Bangladesh, shami kebabs are among the most popular. They are often served on special occasions, which shows just how popular they are. Beef is most commonly used but can sometimes be replaced with lamb or mutton. The beef is formed into a burger-like patty with crushed chickpeas and spices such as garlic, onion, turmeric, garam masala, and chilies. The patty is then shallow fried until cooked and served with onions, hot sauce, or chili sauce, tomato, onion, and salad. Sounds delicious. Let's talk about a dish called chachari. Chachari is a very unique style of cooking spiced vegetables that is unique to Bengali cooking and a traditional Bangladeshi dish. Chachari is made by first creating a spice mix of ghee, ginger, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, and fennel among others before adding chopped vegetables such as potatoes, cauliflower, and eggplant. Water is then added along with any further seasoning and the mix is left to simmer. Once the liquid has mostly evaporated, the vegetables start to char as the signature taste begins to develop. The charred bits are then stirred into a mustard gravy, which is poured onto the vegetables and served. And coming up at number five, the halfway point in our video, we have Dokar Dalna. Dokar Dalna is considered one of the famous signature dishes of Bangladeshi cuisine. The dish uses lentils or dal to make a fried cake, slightly simmered in a tomato-based gravy and seasoned with spices such as ginger, cumin, and coriander. The dish is then served with steamed rice or with a bread side such as paratha or chapati. Dokar Dalna also sometimes utilizes onions and garlic in the preparation, although the traditional method of making the dish excludes these ingredients. And up at number four, we have another one of my favorites, dal. Now, dal isn't just unique to Bangladesh, but it is so commonly eaten by Bangladeshis that it is unequivocally worth mentioning. Dal refers to lentils, peas, and beans that are dried and split, and then often boiled, seasoned, and served in various different forms, most commonly as a thick soup-like dish. Naan, roti, chapati, and other breads traditionally accompany dal as well as rice or vegetables. Dal is traditionally made by boiling the mix in water with salt and turmeric. Tomatoes, tamarind, or other ingredients are sometimes
sometimes added depending on the taste you're looking for. And then adding spices such as cumin, chili, onion, garlic, or mustard seeds, and garnishing before serving. Sounds yummy. Up next, we have Chingri Malai Curry. Chingri Malai Curry is the most famous Bangladesh curry dish based on coconut milk and is loved throughout the region. Chingri Malai is a deliciously creamy, satisfying seafood curry that is prepared by cooking prawns or shrimp in a coconut milk sauce with aromatic spices and served with basmati rice. Coconut milk is very common ingredient in Bangladeshi cuisine, and this Chingri Malai curry is a perfect example of that. Interestingly, the word Malai suggests the dish was actually brought to the region by Malaysian sailors docking at the Bay of Bengal many years ago, and the use of coconut in curries gives credence to this theory since it is very popularly used in Southeast Asian cuisine. Up at number two we have biryani. Biryani, whilst not unique to Bangladesh, is a spicy rice dish made with meat or fish, rice, potatoes, and spices. Hugely popular Bangladeshi biryani is often considered the best in the world. In the Bengali region, popular meats include mutton, goat, chicken, and beef, but there is such a wide variety of biryani dishes available that you can try. A true traditional biryani involves different types of cooking and preparation, as marinated meat is layered with rice, potatoes, and spices such as nutmeg, mace, pepper, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon, bay leaves, coriander, mint, ginger, onion, tomatoes, green chilies, and garlic. I think there's no denying that this dish is truly jam-packed with flavor. Now, the most popular biryani in Bangladesh is Dhaka Kachi Biryani. You will always find the Dhaka Street Biryani stalls crowded with people because of the huge demand for this food. And up at number one, we have the dish called Hilsa or Ilish curry. Hilsa or Ilish curry is the national dish of Bangladesh made from the Hilsa fish and is one of the most popular traditional Bangladeshi dishes. The Hilsa fish is marinated in turmeric and chili paste before slowly frying on a low heat and served with a mustard gravy over rice. The result is a combination of sweet and sour flavors with an incredibly spicy kick. It's also an interesting fact to note that in Bangladesh it is common to eat every part of the Hilsa fish including the head and the eggs. Nothing is wasted and each part even has its own unique delicacies. You can find fish egg dishes or fish head curries that are widely loved throughout the region as well. Up at number 10, we have paratha. Paratha is a flatbread that is widely eaten throughout Bangladesh, either as a side dish to other meals or stuffed and served on its own, often for breakfast or as a snack. Parathas are made by baking whole wheat dough and then shallow frying in ghee or oil. Stuffing parathas is also very common with many different fillings being popular, including dal, potatoes, cauliflower, or other vegetables. It can then be served with a small amount of butter on top that melts, a side of chutney, or simply as an accompaniment to a delicious curry dish. All right, this next dish is rice with curry, vorta, vaji, and dal. This is considered normal everyday food in Bangladesh. Plain rice is the main staple in Bangladeshi cuisine. It is served with different fish and meat curries, so borta, which is a mash of different vegetables and fish, and bhaji, which are fried arrays of vegetables, and patla, or dal lentil soup. Now, funny enough, there is actually a proverb in Bangladesh that says, rice and fish makes the Bengali people. So from this, you can understand that fish and rice are the most popular foods in Bangladesh. While visiting Bangladesh, go to any traditional restaurant anywhere in the country and order rice with different curries, bortas, bhajis, and dal. This will be the most traditional way of having lunch or dinner. You should try this food at lunch at least once while visiting Bangladesh. Up at number eight, we have something called fuchka. Fuchka is the most popular street food in Bangladesh, served mainly in the evening. It has a unique spicy, sour, crispy taste. It consists of a round, hollow puri, fried crisp, and it's filled with a mixture of flavored water, tamarind chutney, chili, chaat masala, potato, onion, and chickpeas. Fuchka uses a mixture of boiled mashed potatoes as the filling and is tangy rather than sweet, 
while the water is sour and spicy. Now, I don't know about you, but these sound absolutely delicious and crunchy to me. Next, we have chic kebab. Chic kebab is beef or mutton cut into cubic pieces, marinated for a long time with a variety of spices, then put together on a skewer and barbecued. The main trick of the melt-in-your-mouth kebab is all in the marinating of the meat. The meat is usually marinated anywhere between three hours to two days with ginger, garlic, green chili pepper, powdered chili, and other spices. Sheik kebab is served with naan, roti, and a simple salad. This is typically an evening snack or appetizer available mostly after 5 o'clock p.m. at the restaurants. Moving on to a dish called halim. Halim is basically a spicy lentil soup that is very popular in Bangladesh. Halim is made of wheat, barley, and meat, usually minced meat or beef or mutton, and in different types of lentils and spices, and sometimes rice is also used. The dish is slow cooked for seven to eight hours, which results in a paste-like consistency, blending the flavors of spices, meat, barley and wheat. Halim is then served with coriander leaves, lemon wedges, chopped ginger, green chili, and fried onion. Sometimes it is also served with naan or other breads. This is generally enjoyed as an evening snack also. Now up at the halfway point in today's video at number five and probably a favorite all over the world is grilled chicken. Grilled chicken has become super popular in Bangladesh recently. In fact, more than 50,000 grilled chickens are sold every day throughout the country. You can find mouth-watering grilled chicken on almost every street and it is marinated with spices and then later grilled. The chicken is super moist inside with crunchy charred bits on the outside and the grilled spicy chicken is paired perfectly with naan roti, an oven-baked flatbread, mayonnaise, and some simple salads. This is also a dish typically consumed after 5 o'clock p.m. in restaurants. Up next we have something called borhani. This is a spicy yogurt drink served at weddings or big parties or even with biryani, tahari, bona kichuri or morog palau. It is easily a traditional drink that is enjoyed by many. Borhani helps balance the spiciness of the food using ingredients like mint, cumin, and yogurt. It is also said to help with digestion. Bottled Borhani is available in restaurants, but it is the homemade Borhani that you really must try if you have the chance. And speaking of Morag Palon, that's up next. This is considered to be a very special and traditional Bangladeshi food. Morag Palang is a rich, flavorful dish where chicken and rice are cooked with spices, yogurt, and ghee. This is a treat for meat lovers because chicken is used very generously in this dish. It is usually served on special occasions together with the traditional yogurt drink we also talked about known as borhani. And also mentioned earlier, we have buna kichuri. The Bengali word buna kichuri means browning, mixing, or deep frying spices with rice and lentils. It is the richer version of the traditional old kachuri. Now, buna means braised, so this dish is kind of slow cooked to infuse the flavors and the spices as opposed to just the simple process of cooking everything together quickly. Buna kachuri could be cooked with different types of meat, such as beef, mutton, and chicken. It can also be served with eggs or prawns added to it, and it is a very popular dish for lunch in traditional Bangladeshi restaurants. So you gotta try it. And up at number one, we have a dish called Patla Kichuri. Now, Patla Kichuri is the actual traditional Kichuri of Bangladesh cooked plainly with rice and lentils. Now, different seasonal vegetables, spinach, and potatoes are added to this dish. It is eaten with any meat curry, such as beef, mutton, or chicken. It is also eaten with a fried egg or begun baja, which is fried eggplants. And just a teaspoon of ghee can also help bring out the true essence of this yummy dish. Now, one thing to note is that patla kachuri is a traditional 
homemade food and not usually served in restaurants. So it could be that the only chance of tasting patla kachuri might be if you were invited to dine at a local's house. All right, starting us off at number 10 today, we have samosa and shingara. Samosa are triangular shaped and deep fried pastries filled with different combinations of spiced potatoes, onions, peas, cheese, beef, and lentils. They are served with chutney, salad, or green chili. This tasty treat is commonly found in street stalls across India and Bangladesh. Shingara are made with a different kind of dough. They're flakier and crumblier. Moving on to Ras Malai. Ras Malai is a sweet dessert. It originated throughout the regions of India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Ras Malai consists of flattened balls of chana soaked in malai or clotted cream with saffron, pistachios, and kheer. The taste is sweet, creamy, and spongy. I have had these myself and they are absolutely delicious. Up at number eight, we have a dessert called chom chom. Chom Chom is a traditional sweet from Bangladesh consisting of homemade cottage cheese called chana that is cooked in sugar syrup. It is often flavored with lemon juice and cardamom powder. The sweet treat can be served in a few different varieties with chopped nuts, malai cream, or grated coconut. I have also had the pleasure of trying these and they are to die for. Up next, we have Chot Poti. This traditional Bengali dish consists of chickpeas and diced potatoes that are served in a tamarind-based sauce. Typical additions also include onions, boiled eggs, sliced green chili peppers, and fresh mint or cilantro, while the sauce is usually spiced with cumin and chili powder. The whole dish is occasionally topped with cucumbers, boiled eggs, as well as crackers or crumbled puree or fuchka, fried bread shells. Chakpoti is popular in Bangladesh and West Bengal, and it is typically associated with special occasions such as Eid, though it is also a favorite favorite everyday snack and a common street food dish. And up at number six, we have a dish called baguni. Baguni is a simple dish consisting of deep fried eggplant slices. The variations may include dipping the slices in batter or coating them with various combinations of gram flour and spices such as turmeric, chili powder, and cumin. Baguni is a Bengali dish eaten both in Bangladesh and India. It is served with a yogurt-based sauce or chutney on the side, and it is usually enjoyed as a snack or a street food. A similar dish is known as bagun bhaji, but the slices are mostly vertical and are rarely dipped in batter. And up at number five, the halfway point in today's video, we have shemai. Shemai is a traditional dessert in Bangladesh. This dessert symbolizes happy moments in the family, in society, or any occasion. It is a sweet dessert made from milk, ghee, sugar, roasted vermicelli noodles, and various assortments of nuts and spices. Although shemai is popular in Bangladesh, it is not a restaurant or street food. It is generally seen as a dish made at home for the family to enjoy. So you might need to go really local to try this one. Next, we have jalmuri. Jalmuri is made with muri, which is a puffed rice and chana chur along with onion, chili, mustard oil, many types of masala, and salad. All the ingredients are put in one pot and shaken to mix them together. This spicy food has a magical taste and you can feel the masala as you pop it in your mouth. Next up, we have panta ilish. Panta ilish is a dish from Bangladesh that combines a bowl of panta bat, cooked and soaked rice with fried ilish fish. The combination is traditionally enjoyed in urban areas. The fish is usually generously seasoned with turmeric, chili powder, and other spices, and the dish is typically topped with fresh chili peppers, onions, and borta, which is a traditional vegetable or fish mash that is usually served as a side dish. Up at number two, we have a dish called pita. Pita are rice cakes that are made sweet or savory and with several types of rice and then soaked in milk and topped with sugar, date palm syrup, jaggery or molasses. The rice cakes can be steamed, fried or made in other ways. It is a typical Bangladeshi food eaten at the beginning of winter when the rice harvest ends and they are found all across the country. There are many varieties of traditional sweet pita including vapa pita, puli pita, 
Pagan Pita, and more. And actually making them requires quite the skill. So definitely make sure to try those. And all the way down at number one today, we have a dish called Kalabuna, a great combination of beef, onion, and plenty of spices such as ginger, garlic, chili, and cumin go through a long process of deep frying to give this dish its dark color. As in its name, Kalabuna means black deep fry. It is a traditional food that originated in the east south of Bangladesh and became very popular all over the country due to its masala taste. This heavy black dish is served with roti, plain rice, and pulao. It is considered a delicacy and is served at weddings, Aid, Mezban, Sehri, and Iftar.